<laughs> G'day, I'm Mighty. Welcome to the Mighty Outdoors and welcome to this, my journey of discovery with my Land Rover Discovery 4. Now, people buy Land Rovers for all sorts of reasons. And if there's one thing I've learned since joining this community is that Land Rover owners love talking about and hearing about why other people go ahead and buy their Land Rovers, what they love about them and the likes of that. So I thought today, as a quick one, I'd tell you a little bit about my journey uh, and why I decided to buy a Land Rover Discovery. And there are effectively three reasons, um, function, uh, form, and, and emotional reasons. Um, all very good reasons, uh, in my opinion, to throw, throw your hard-earned cash down on a, on a Land Rover or whatever other vehicle it is that, that really pushes your buttons. So, on the function side of things, um, I remember watching a, uh, a Land Rover um, series done by uh, Andrew St. Pierre White on his channel, Forex Overland. Great channel. Um, always got a lot of enjoyment out of seeing him drive Land Rovers around. When he took a Land Rover, uh, Land Rover Discovery, Land Rover Discovery 4, over the Baboons Pass, um, which is is the highest highest road in a particular part of, of, of Africa. And it was really quite impressive. And I remember him saying, oh, either on that video or, or one soon after it, just how capable, straight out of the box, the Land Rover Discovery 4 is. Now, yes, you know, you can go ahead and do all sorts of modifications to it or any other four-wheel drive um, to change the way that they respond and the way they handle the terrain and the likes of that. But straight out of the box, he thought it was a very good uh, product, which is which is good. I'm always good to see, always happy to see that someone else thinks that the car that I want to buy happens to be <laughs> happens to be a good car. But if you're interested in seeing exactly what that baboon's pass was, go ahead and find his video. Um, he's, he's does a very good job of it. So straight out of the box, you know, it's incredibly comfortable. Uh, functionality wise, uh, it's not only very capable, but it's very comfortable. Um, I've got the standard. TDV6, lower spec model, um, and you know, it has nice black leather seats, most of which are down in the back of the car at the moment. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's traction control aids, the 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 way the car handles on the road. Uh, I, in my opinion, uh, it's very, very well built and I'm very happy with it. Second point is form. I think in my, my opinion is if you're gonna go ahead and spend money on anything, and to be fair, this is not a cheap car, um, it's a car which I, I saved up money over a considerable period of time to purchase, and that's another story. Um, but in any case, the um, uh, you've got to if you can, before you go and buy anything, yeah, well, if it's going to be a pleasurable purchase, you've got to enjoy what it is that you're going to buy. You've got to feel and think that it looks good. And I love the look of the Land Rover Discovery for the boxy lines, the the way that it's that's designed, the evolution from from the one to the two to the three to the four um, of the Discovery series. Um, oh, I'm, I love it. Oh, I really do. As much as any other reason, I think that that's a valid one. You've got to enjoy and like the look of what you're going to buy. If, you, if, you, if you're thinking of spending money on a car that you don't like the look of, and you're going to have to look at it every day, well, what are you doing? All right, so there you go. Function and form. Two very valid reasons for going ahead and buying you know, your vehicle, whichever it is that it happens to be for you. For me, it's my Land Rover Discovery 4. The third, the third reason is an emotional one for me. Um, and that's because my late father, he used to sell Land Rovers. Um, and uh, he sold them for a number of years. And I have very strong positive memories um, of, as a child, going out with my siblings and my mum on Land Rover Discovery Days. Now, if you buy a Land Rover, at least it was the case at the time, and people have bought Land Rovers since, I'm sure they can put it in the comments below and tell me if this is still the case, but the dealers would invite new purchasers to come out uh, on a Land Rover Discovery Day, and they'd take people who just bought Land Rovers, um, basically out into the bush for a fully catered day experience, um, where they would receive training on how to use their traction control aids, how to better handle their four-wheel drive, and so forth. So I've got wonderful memories of um, making our way up and down tracks and, and through big ruts and lots of mud and all this sort of stuff, um, and, and wonderful food, great lunch, um, you know, all these great times bouncing around in the back of a Land Rover Discovery. Not a Discovery 4, but certainly a Land Rover Discovery, and just have such fond memories of that. Um, and uh, for me, that makes, that makes up part of the, the purchasing decision. Um, so yes, 
So that's that. That's a little bit about my journey of discovery with the Land Rovers. Um, you know, their purchasing decision, uh, you know, and as I said before, there's significant money tied up in a car like this. They're not cheap. Um, even secondhand, they're still not cheap. Um, but I think they're a great product. Um, their, their, their function is, is excellent. In my opinion, the form of it is just such a good looking vehicle. And there's a bit of an emotional attachment to it as well. So there you go. That's a little bit about my journey of discovery. Um, thanks for being here with me in the mighty outdoors. And I can't wait to see you next time in the mighty outdoors. Hooroo.